Hello. Confirmation of identity is about providing evidence that peak on the chromatogram belongs to the analyte and not something else. This uh, topic is so closely related to selectivity that most analytical uh, validation guidelines handle them uh, together. However, the separation is still possible. So, uh, as a um, vast number of mm, compounds exist on the Earth, then several compounds can have similar chromatographic behavior. And therefore, uh, they elute at the same retention time. And identity confirmation has to provide evidence that the analytical signal is due to the analyte and not something similar to the analyte. Information uh, required for this confirmation is gathered during the validation. There are two principal ways for uh, identity confirmation. First of them relies on the chromatogra chromatography and mostly on the retention times. Uh, Retention time of analyte should be the same in uh, sample and in the standard solution. So this is a good uh, way of demonstrating that the analyte can be the required compound, but this is not uh, sufficient to uh, confirm the identity. A better way for confirming identity is uh, spectroscopic uh, detection. Uh, spectroscopic methods provide uh, evidence that chemical structure of the compound uh, detected is that of the analyte and not something similar. Uh, fluorescence and ultraviolet visible detection as the most common uh, liquid chromatographic detections provide some evidence, but this is not regarded sufficient for identity confirmation. So if a spectra of compound in sample and in the standard solution are different, then it cannot be the same compound. But if the spectra are similar, then uh, we cannot prove that um, we are observing the analyte. Much uh, powerful method for identity confirmation is mass spectrometry. Identity confirmation, as summarized by ICH guidelines, um, um, summarizes the general requirements for identity confirmation. Uh, it requires demonstration that method is um, able to discriminate between compounds of closely related structures. Uh, positive results uh, must be obtained from the samples which contain the analyte and negative results from the compounds which do not contain analyte. At the same time, uh, if compounds uh, which are structure structurally related to or similar to the analyte are analyzed, then negative results must be obtained. Now, uh, we have to consider which compounds could potentially interfere with uh, the determination of analyte. So we have to rely on the experience, or on the knowing of the system. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we have to rely on the scientific judgment of properties of sample of analyte and also of the analytical method. So we, have a, we must have a good scientific knowledge of the system. So uh, as opposed to other uh, validation parameters, identity confirmation relies a lot on the uh, knowledge and experience.